For this wall hanging, I've loaded single super designs. Before I go further, I will make them into groups. To select the designs, I can either point at and select each design while holding down the control key, then click groups, or use any of the select tools on the ribbon bar. But before you choose box select, freehand or freehand point select, you must first click the add to selection icon. Then, as soon as you enter the work area, you will notice a plus symbol next to the arrow pointer. I can now rotate them as a group and then reposition them slightly. A couple of the smaller fish, however, still need some adjustment. When they are selected, the whole group is highlighted. I could break the group up by selecting the group and clicking ungroup. But as I want to keep the group, I can use the restrict groups function. Now I can select any design in any group and work on it as if it was not in a group. Going back to the group of copper band fish, as I want to use these in another project later, I can copy them to the clipboard. For my finishing touch, I am going to add a decoration to the lettering. A glass crystal placed on the dot of the eye should do the trick. But before I finish for today, I will make the lettering and the decoration into a group. Otherwise, I might accidentally move the lettering and not the decoration. As the decoration is inside the lettering selection box, I can't use the control click method to add to the selection. So I will use the freehand point select. and actually just move the group a little. As you can see, groups in the Premier Plus embroidery system give you a great new exciting way to work.